Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to convert decimal number into binary number. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file. Next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular braces we will write console input output dot h header file. Now we will write main function that is wide main curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the variable with a respective data type. Here I am going to take integer. I will take n for entering number. R is used for remainder and i is equal to 1 which is uh, used as uh, the multiplication. So which is used for multiplication that one we are going to explain in the next forthcoming uh, steps. So here I am going to write this one as 1 and next dnum that is decimal number and put semicolon. Now I am going to take the modifier long and here I am going to write bin variable that is binary is set to 0 and semicolon. Now we will write CLR SCR function and now I will ask the user to enter the decimal number in printf function. So here I am going to write enter the decimal number and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. So we are going to receive the decimal number from user using scanf statement. Here we have taken n as integer so that is the reason format specifier is percentage d in a double quotation mark and the double quotation mark put comma ampersand of n and then semicolon. Now I am going to initialize the value entered by the user to decimal number. So in order to keep this particular this particular value intact by initializing this value to dnum. So here I am going to write decimal number is equal to n means the n value whatever the entered by the user will be initialized to one more variable called dnum. Now I am going to use while loop. Inside the while loop in a condition I am going to write n not equal to 0. Here if the user enters any number other than 0 then obviously it is true because we have written while n not equal to 0. Curly open brace and here I am going to write remainder r is equal to n modular division by 2 because the decimal number has to be divided by 2 to get the uh, remainder. Now I will write n is equal to n integer division by 2. This gives us quotient. Next statement I am going to write binary number is equal to binary plus remainder into i value. So here we have equated i is equal to 1. So that one we will study uh, later on. Once we take the example at that time I am going to explain this one. Here I am going to write i is equal to i into 10 and put semicolon and curly closing brace for this opening brace of while loop. Now after this iterative statement I am going to write printf statement and in a double quotation mark I will write percentage d is equal to percentage d in the double quotation mark put comma I will write d num comma binary number. So whatever the decimal number that we have entered so it will be printed as it is that is decimal number is equal to next this percentage d associated with bin that is binary number will be printed. Here I am going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for this main function opening brace. Now let us take an example. Here I am going to write output once we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter the decimal number. So it is going to print enter the decimal number. Yes. So for example, here I am going to enter 15. For example, if you want, you can change the number. So n is associated with 15, correct? Yes. So here n is equal to 15 and in turn n is equated to dnum that is decimal number is equal to n n is what n is 15 so 15 is initialized to dnum next statement is while n not equal to 0 here you can see which is 15 it is not equal to 0 hence it is true 
once it is true the control enters into the while loop and here it is going to execute the first statement to get the remainder so i'm going to write r is equal to n is what 15 modular division by 2 so this gives me what so 2 ones are 2 sevens are 14 correct so one is remainder so modular division always gives us the remainder that is one will be printed that is initialized to r next n is equal to n is what 15 and integer division by 2 so this gives us what quotient 2 ones are 2 7 are 7 is quotient so here 7 is initialized to n next third statement is bin binary is equal to and here bin is equated with value 0 for the first time i'll write 0 plus r what is r r is 1 here so plus 1 into i what is the value of i 1 so here 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so 1 is initialized to binary number next statement is i is equal to i into 10 what is the value of i for the first time it is 1 1 into 10 gives me 10 only right yes once again the control transfers back to while loop and it is going to check the condition so what is the value of n now this is the first iteration first iteration is over so the value of n is 7 7 is not equal to 0 yes it is true once it is true then again the control enters into the looping structure so r is equal to n is what now 7 modular division by 2 so this gives us remainder 2 ones are 2 3s are 6 1 is the remainder next n is equal to n is 7 integer division by 2 so this gives us 2 ones are 2 3s are this returns quotient that is 3 so 3 is equated to n again we are going to calculate binary number bin is equal to here bin is what earlier it was 1 right 1 plus r is what now r is 1 into i value is what i value is 10 so here you can calculate 1 into 10 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so it is you can write it is not actually 11 it is 1 1 you can say right yes next we'll execute the next statement i is equal to i is what i is 10 into 10 so this gives me what 10 10s are 100 right yes so the second iteration is over again control transfers to while to check this condition what is the value of n now n is 3 so which is not equal to 0 once again it is going to execute all these four statements the first statement is r is equal to n value is 3 modular division by 2 so here it is going to give us remainder 2 ones are 2 ones are remainder is 1 next statement n is equal to n is what 3 integer division by 2 so 3 2 ones are 2 ones are so here n is 1 again we will write bin is equal to that is binary number here you can see binary number was 1 1 plus r r is what here it is 1 into i value i value is what 100 so 100 ones are 100 100 plus 11 so that gives us 1 1 1 correct yes similarly i is equal to what is the value of i here i was 100 100 into 10 so this gives us 1000 is stored in variable i now once again you can see here the value of n is not equal to 0 it is 1 so again control transfers to while and 1 is not equal to 0 hence all of these four statements once again they are going to get execute so here i'm going to write r is equal to n value is 1 modular division by 2 is equal to here you can see the numerator is less than denominator as per the basic mathematic rule if the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder and quotient becomes 0 so here remainder is 1 and quotient is 0 next statement n is equal to n is 1 integer division by 2 so this gives us quotient 0 correct yes next bin is equal to what is bin here 1 1 1 so here i'm going to write 1 1 1 plus r is what 1 into i is what i is 1000 so here i'm going to write 1000 next i'm going to simplify this so what it is going to return so we are going to check out 
So here first 1 into 1000 is 1000, 1000 plus 111 that gives us 1, 1, 1, 1, correct? Yes, again i into i, i is equal to, what is the value of i? 1000, 1000 into 10. So this gives us 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros that is 10,000. Here you can see n is equal to 0. Hence the control will not go to while loop. Now condition fails. Then the control comes out of the looping structure and then it is going to print percentage d dnum. What is dnum? dnum is equated with the value 15. Correct? So this one will be printed. So here I am going to write the output as it is going to print 15 e is equal to will be printed as it is this percentage d format specifier is associated with bin so here you can see in this example what is the value of bin here it is 1 1 1 1 15 is equal to 1 1 1 1 so this is to the base 2 and this was to the base 10 so this is how we are going to convert the decimal number into binary number so let us execute this program for that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here I have already written this uh, program in Turbo C++ compiler integrated development environment and now we are going to compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here you can see it is showing success that means there is no syntax error I'll press enter and now we are going to run this program by pressing Control F9. Here it is asking the user to enter a decimal number. For example, I am going to enter 15 and I will press enter. Here you can see it is showing 15 is equal to 1111. Similarly, you can use some other number as well by pressing Ctrl F9. Once again, I am going to run this program and I am going to press 5. So if I press 5, it should show 101. So I am going to press enter. Now you can see it is showing 5 is equal to 101. I hope you understood. If so, please write it in a comment box as understood. Thank you.